Here are five business stories making headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Total Energies has launched the sale of its 10% stake in Nigerian joint venture SPDC. The sale includes interest in 13 onshore fields and three in shallow water, producing 200,000 barrels of oil equivalent a day. Big Oil has been progressively exiting Nigeria's onshore production due to years of sabotage and theft in the Delta region, which has suffered decades of oil spills and pollution. Ghana has started a bulk purchase program to buy gold locally, the central bank said on Tuesday, to raise the gold component in its reserves. That's a bid to strengthen the SADI currency, which has been depreciating, without increasing inflation, which hit an 18-year record in April. South African grocery and clothing retailer Pick and Pay aims to cut costs by 3 billion rand, that's 187 million US dollars, in the next three years, and grow market share by 3%. The aim is to improve shareholder returns, which have been dropping over the past year in a highly competitive market. The UK's development finance institution, British International Investment, and US bank Citigroup have signed a $100 million risk-sharing facility for Africa to boost lending to small businesses by up to four times that amount. The two parties will share risk 50-50, as they aim to provide capital to markets seen as risky because of an uncertain business environment and currency fluctuations. And finally, Nigeria's megacity Lagos said on Wednesday that it's banning motorcycle taxis, which it called unsafe. The Okadas are a popular mode of transport in a city where traffic jams are a daily part of life. It was not immediately clear if the ban would include ride-hailing startups like Gokada and Max.ng that have sought to capitalize on the city's teeming population of 20 million.